Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. The National Stock Exchange of India has been actively involved with initiatives to educate the young generation of our country on the importance of financial management. One such initiative is NSE Finwiz that focuses on educating and advising the young workforce of the country on wealth management to enhance financial literacy and to empower them. Insurance is for protection. An investment is for growth. Another program facilitated by NSC IPFT is NSC Financial Quest. This inter-school financial quiz contest goes an extra mile by educating the young students on fundamentals of finance. On the buzzer, what is this? It's the formula for the simple interest. Simple interest is the right answer. Under the NSC Financial Quest Base Camps banner, the program engages students around the year through workshops on various topics, projects, interactive videos, and quizzes. The Capri is bouncing checks of Pan Am. Plus 75, Adana. Plus 75. To facilitate these two programs, NSC, along with CNBC TV18, has traveled across the country to bridge the wide knowledge gap in terms of finance. In this episode of NSE FQ, we are all set to achieve our objective once again by gauging young minds in a new city. Hello and a warm welcome to NSE's Financial Quest Season 6. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go on across the length and breadth of the nation, we've covered a lot of cities. And today, we are in the city of Surat. We've had a brilliant prelim and out of this prelim with high points have qualified eight teams. These teams will battle it out to be the champion of the city of Surat. So without further ado, let me introduce to you the top eight at Surat. Okay, the concept of this segment is pretty straightforward. Each team gets a statement followed by boxes below. There are a couple of letters thrown in to help you answer the question better. Value of all questions is 75 points. When you want to answer it, I would request, this is not even like I'm giving you an option, I would request you guys to actually invest. Try and score as much as you can and don't answer it on base value. Let me start off with my first of my segments. It's called Opening Bell. Here it comes. Table number one, Royal International School from Dumas. Your question, or rather your statement. A company's sense of responsibility towards the community and the environment, both ecological and social, in which it operates. What am I talking about? We are clueless. Clueless, okay. Across table number two, this would be Vian Godani in your school. Three letter answer, company sense of responsibility towards the community and the environment. Moving you guys to Maheshwari Vidyapi, table number three, three simple letters. Across to Ryan International, Rajan, table number four. No? Table number five, J.H. Ambani, we'll be moving on to you guys. You have an answer? Yes, CSR. And what does CSR? Corporate social responsibility. Plus 75 is the way to begin. Good job. Good morning. Moving on. Table 2, that would be VH Gadani, your direct. Norex Bank is the central bank of this European country. 475, or you can increase the stakes and invest it and get 90 points. Do you want to invest? Yes. Invest in what? 15%. Just 15%? Okay, you're saying 15%. The value of the question is 75, so 15% would be. 86.25 is what you would get. What's your answer? Norway. 
Norway is what you're saying. I don't know why you didn't want to go for the 20%, which would have made it 90. But 86.25 is what you get on the first question. With an investment return of 15% on mutual funds, they get 86.25 on the scoreboard. Mahesh Pati Vidya beat your direct for 75 points. This is a general term for extending financial support to a company or a country facing a potential bankruptcy threat. Extending financial support. It's a pass. It's a pass. Ryan International, table number four. We'd like to pass. Passing across. Jay Chamani, table number five. Bail out. Spell that for me. B A I L O U T. 75 is a little long word to spell. I'll just say you're getting 75 points for that. Plus 75. Ryan International, table number four, you're direct. ISO 4217 is a standard that designates this code for a country. What code is this? We'd like to invest at 20%. At 20%. That would be at stock market. You can make 90 points. What's your answer? It's currency. For that, it's a good answer. Plus 90. Currency is a lovely answer. Moving on to Jay Chamani. Here's your direct. A redemption is the return of an investor's dash in a fixed income security such as a preferred stock or a bond or the sale of units in a mutual fund it's another term for the chunk no okay i have to move you guys too much time uh shrimati lp samani school table number six no across to shrimati vd desai no idea no idea riverdale academy Table number 8. No? Ryan International. Table number 1. No idea. Passing to table number 2. V and Godani. Pass. Pass. Table number 3. Maheshwari Vidyapi. Principal. Principal. A primary path the investor invests is the principal amount. Plus 75 on that. Nicely done. It is principal. How did you guys miss out on that? I mean, I thought there was a flow to the question. Okay. Shrimati LP Savani Vidyapi. Your question... Convert a check, money order, bond, etc. into money. This is simple. That's a lot of time, girls. I have to move your Riverdale Academy table eight. And cash. Spell that for me. E N C A S H. Plus seventy five. Plus seventy five. Nicely done. And cash is what you're doing when you're converting a check into money. You're encashing it. That's what you're doing. Okay. Uh, Srimati Bidhi Desai, the penultimate question of this round. Young Stars account from ICICI, Kids Advantage account from HCFC, Pella Kadam and Pelly Udan from SBI are all examples of this type of account. If you're attempting, you need to tell me if you're investing. Saving. Are you investing? Stock. Stock market, 20%. What is your answer? Saving. Savings. Savings. I know you're in a josh to give me the answer, but invest in it. Don't miss that chance. Plus 90. Well done. Savings accounts, all types of savings account, and Riverdale Academy. Your last question. Here we go. The established reputation of a business regarded as a quantifiable asset and calculated as a part of its value when it's sold. If you want to answer, you need to tell me if you're going to invest. You're not answering. So I'm moving you to Ride International from on table number one. No. Passing table number two, we and Godani. Goodwill. Goodwill. Are you sure? Why are you so nervous? That is the right answer. Plus 75. Nicely done. You could have had a 90 plus a 75, but very strangely, you chose a 15% on that. But that brings us to the close of my first segment. It's gone pretty well. Not going to jinx you for anybody. You take a quick break and on the other side, scores and a lot more questions to come. Don't go anywhere. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 from the city of Surat. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 from the city of Surat. For now, let's have a quick look at the scoreboard and then we get into live action from there. Scoreboard on your screens now.
for now let me start off with my second segment it's called trading and here it comes on this segment all the questions are on the buzzer no more opportunities on direct and pass it's all on the buzzer question comes up on screen you think you know the answer you go for the buzzer whoever goes fastest only their light comes on i'll ask you if you want to invest you tell me if you want to invest or not and then give me an answer if you get the right answer whatever the amount is will be added if you get it wrong will be deducted only one team gets an opportunity on the buzzer all good ready okay question number 1 then it's a 75 point and it's a visual question i'm going to show you old and newer logos of someone you need to tell me who okay old logo and new logo table number 4 ryan international arjun have gone on the buzzer do you want to invest or you want to play at a base value invest in what 15% 15% interesting yeah, okay go for it nsc financial quest nsc financial quest is a minus 86.25 that you get that's not the new or the old logo that is a new logo of the idfc bank that i was showing you moving on to a 50 pointer it's simple straight for 50 points read the question give me the answer and take away 50 60 or whatever else you guys want to play with the SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust is the largest ETF traded on the market by assets. Table number 5 JH Adbani have gone on the buzzer on this one. What do you want to invest? Base value. 50 points. Go for it. Transfer. T according to you stands for transfer. My question was ETF traded on the market by asset. E stands for exchange. T stands for what? F stands for fund. T is exchange traded fund, not transfer fund. Good try, minus fifty on that one to J H Ambani. But good, you played it on base value, so not too much of a loss on that. Seventy-five points. This is a visual question. His name is Mario Draghi. He is the president of which big bank in Europe? Table number eight, Riverdale Academy. You've gone on the buzzer. Do you want to invest or play this at base value? Basic value. Basic value. So that's seventy-five points. Swiss bank. Minus seventy-five on that. Minus seventy-five. It's the simple, plain, and easy European Central Bank, the bank that monitors the euro. Okay, moving on for a hundred pointer this time. And of course, if you get it right, it's. 100 plus whatever else you want to invest it on or it's a regular question this is a stock index that tracks the shares of the top performing publicly traded companies named after a color what is this index called anybody willing to risk it it's a hundred shrimati vidhi desai you're risking it do you want to invest or you want to play it at base value base value base value go for it sensex it's not the sensex it's a minus 100 good attempt good attempt at that but it's a minus 100 it's not the sensex anyone else wants to try blue chip why don't you guys risk it it is blue chip good answer can i have a round of applause it's a very good answer but you need to risk it go for the buzzer blue chip index is what it's called okay another 100 pointer to follow here comes the question shawl chernif chovsky chernif chovsky is a russian born hebrew poet is featured on which country's currency is a russian born hebrew poet so which country's currency am i showing you someone gone on the buzzer table number 1 ryan international uh, from icsc dumas you want to invest no no investment okay go for it russia's ruble russia why would i put the question as russian and then ask you what currency this is that's a minus 100 that you take a lot of risks in this round but Uh, yeah, you want to try? Israel. You can't keep looking at me. Look at the buzzer and hit the buzzer. Two questions on a row. You're missing out. That's two hundred points that you missed out. You can't do this to yourself. Okay. Next one. This is another seventy-five pointer. Here we go. A Dash Advisor is an online wealth management service that provides automated, algorithm-based portfolio management advice without the use of human financial planners. 
Ryan International School, table number four. Do you want to invest or you want to play at base value? Base value. Base value. What's your answer? Oh, artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence advisor where there is no human beings is used. It's like a robot that controls everything. When you go for the buzzer, at least invest, right? Plus 75. But only 75. How do you do this to yourselves? Okay, moving on to the last question of uh, this sequence of questions. And this is simple. All you need to tell me, in today's context, from the world of finance, where would you find this? What I'm going to show you, you need to tell me where you would find this. 400 points. Here we go. Ah, he just beat you to that. Riverdale Academy, table number 8, do you want to invest? Base value, 100 points. Huh. Okay. Satellite. Sorry? Satellite. In a financial point of view, how would that be just a satellite? Minus 100 that you take on that. And uh, both of you can give me an answer, but no points to both of you all. Sorry? Tax. Tax. A 200 rupees note. It's the 2000 rupees oh. note. I said in the finance context, yeah. today's generation, Double minus 100 on that. Oh my god, this round or this segment has turned out really, really interesting. A lot of negatives that I've not been seeing before. But the point is, it's not that the teams don't know it. Some teams waiting for it too long. Some teams not risking it. Sometimes these things happen and I think that's a part and parcel of a quiz. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the scores and the last segment. Welcome back, you're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 from the city of Surat and this is turning out to be a really, really interesting quiz. I, for a while, have not seen that many negatives taken in one round. But the interesting bit is, nobody is stopping themselves. I love the fact that all of you are risking it, that's really nice to see. We've got one more segment to go, but before that, can we have a quick look at the scores and then we proceed from there. segment to go let me introduce the segment to you it is called settlement and here it comes let me start off with my first of my questions it's a hundred pointer it's a visual question you need to tell me what is so special about this debit card that I'm going to show you and I need something very special don't look at it from a generic point of view I need a very specific answer to this here we go 5610590, that's the number. It's called an international debit card. What is so special or which with which currency does this debit card operate? Very special currency. I'm talking global. Yeah. Ryan International, you've gone on the buzzer on this time. You want to invest or no? Base. Base value, 100 points. Go for it. A Bitcoin. You should have invested because it's correct answer on that plus 100 Bitcoin. This is a debit card that operates only on Bitcoins. The world's first Bitcoin uh, debit card. Okay, here we go. Next one. This is 75 pointer. Read the question. Give me an answer. Take as much as 90 or bare minimum of 75. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the meaning of the word is a person who manages the financial affairs of a college or school. The origin of the term is from the medieval Latin word for purse. Table number three, Maheshwari Vidya Pete have gone on the buzzer. You want to invest? No, at the base. Base value. Go for it. Treasurer. Minus 75 is what you take. It's not a treasurer. The word is bursa. B-U-R-S-A-R, which comes from the word for purse. Burse. Bursary is a person is a, where a person handles the accounts. Okay, moving on to a hundred pointer. Here we go. Named after a popular mode of transport, a dash drop is a hypothetical, unconventional tool of monetary policy that involves printing large sums of money and distributing it to the public to stimulate the economy. Named after a popular mode of transport. Table number one, Royal International School. Dumas going for this on the buzzer. Base value or? Base value. 100 points. Go for it. Airdrop. Airdrop. Sure. Yes. Plus 100. Plus 100. Well done. 
Okay, next one. This is 75 pointer. Here comes the question. Which American financial services company one of the sponsors of the US Open is fondly known as Amex? Ryan International School, table number 4, 75 pointer. Do you want to invest or base value? We invest at 20%. 20% so that becomes 90 points it's uh, American Express are you sure yeah 90 points is what I will give you nice well done it is American Express that's a good answer from you and the last one is a hundred pointer since India's independence seven of X have been set up on a regular basis to review and make recommendations table number five J H M Mani been waiting for that buzzer invest or base value Invest 20%. 120 points. Go for it. Pay commission. X has been set up on a regular basis. What I read. You want? To, you completed the question. No. You're just taking a guess. Yes. Plus 120 on the guess. Good answer. Very, very good answer. But I must say, I must say, Jay Chamani, had you started a little earlier, even two questions earlier, you had the chance of toppling them. But two really, really nice answers. Congratulations, that's Kosta Ben Vibhu from Ryan International School, Arajan. Outstanding job. Congratulations, y'all are the champions here at Surat. brings us to a close of another exciting episode where despite all those negatives teams have scored very very well to finish this quiz off with 268.75 points and being champions. I'm your host Lloyd Saldana and with the entire team of CNBC TV 18 and the National Stock Exchange, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Till then have a great time. Innovate. Enable.